Hey there, welcome to Ndivu Tea, bringing you the hottest tea that might burn your tongue. But before we sip today's tea, make sure you hit the subscribe button and a bell for notification. Now let's sip today's tea. Kim Sam actress Maho Femwahi recently opened up about the fear she felt when she found a lab in her breast and we all know her as Charity or Kate's mother on Skim Sam and she took to Instagram and this is what she said. Ladies, please check your breast for any lumps and when you do find one, don't take three years like I did. My crimping fear of injections made me the best procrastinator but it got bigger and bigger and more painful over time until I decided to get it checked out. Another fear was my bloodline has a history of cancer sufferers so I overanalyzed the lump and Anyways, to cut a story short, I eventually made an appointment. My doctor sent me to the radiology department and I got a biopsy done. A fine needle aspiration biopsy was done. In some cases, your doctors may decide that he or she needs a sample of your tissue or your cells to help diagnose an illness of or identify a cancer. The removal of tissue or cells for analysis is called a biopsy. While a biopsy may sound scary it's important to remember that most are entirely pain-free and low-risk procedures depending on your situation a piece of skin tissue organ or suspected tumor will be surgically removed and sent to a lab for testing i was blessed because my lab results came back negative and it was a uh, I think it's called Benin tumor, but I still have to do an operation to remove it because it's growing. And for our men, please go for regular prostate cancer checkups. The symptoms may be different for each man. Routine screenings in the form of digital rectal exams and prostate specific androgen PSA tests are important. Any warning signs, burning or pain during urination, difficult urinating or trouble studying and stopping while urinating, more frequent edges to urinate at night, loss of bladder control, decreased flow or velocity of urine stream, blood in urine, blood in semen, difficulty getting an erection, painful ejaculating. So basically she is just also giving us symptoms to be aware of or to look out for when you whenever you do go through such things. So I'm also urging everybody to Whenever you see something that is strange on your body, please do not procrastinate because you will never know what it is until you go to the doctor to check it for you. And do not trust Google. Do not diagnose yourself because of Google because you never know what it is until you get tested. So guys, yeah, do comment your thoughts down below. I love you guys so much. Bye.